All right, here's the hand to base hand clear ceiling fan that I got from Mark Wilson a few days ago. It is a 5020 ceiling fan, and uh, this is actually going to be the first fan I'm going to be first ceiling fan that I'm for testing since I've gone back from the Dominican Republic. I've already tested a few four fans for the time being. Also, it's not to like just it's not because I was trying to um just fill in time until I got a fan to four times, but it was also cut. I got new fans, so I figured I'd do videos of them, so, um, yeah. But, um, yeah, this fan, the switch housing is, I don't know what's wrong with it, but I, I have I can't tighten it at all. I, there's, like, a bolt inside that, that I use to tighten, that, um, it should tighten it up, but, um, it's not tightening the switch housing at all, so I don't know what's up with that. Blade arms are in bad alignment, so the blades are pretty out of, oh, are pretty badly bent. I tried bending them back into alignment, but it's, they're just too far, far. It is way too bent for me to do it right now. I can't really do anything without, without, because I don't want to risk breaking them. So, um, yeah. Now, despite this fan being a knockoff of the Cosmog Victorian, it's actually not too bad of a, it's obviously not as good as the Cosmog fan, which obviously, but, um, it's more, it's actually more impressive than I thought it would be. I thought it would just be a cheaper, like a very cheap, we made fan that moves some air, but, um, I do remember some people saying that this is one of the better main hand to bay fans and it is I have already tested it on all speeds and it's actually true, it's a pretty good air mover. Probably just as probably just as good of an air mover as the um hand to bay Cameron to be honest. But um yeah. I'm not it might be even more powerful than the Cameron, but it's pretty close. It's almost as good as a hunter air mover, to be honest. But the quality isn't the same, that's the only thing. Like the build of it, but the Built this fan is not too bad, honestly. I mean, it has like the the motor housing is more sim is more spot on to the Victorian than the Coda Renancy is. Blade arms and blades are really the only difference. I have the oak side showing right now, and the other side is rosewood. In fact, I Mr. Ceiling Fan Man nineteen ninety nine said that in a video, and I also double checked the um, catalog from two thousand one to be sure. So, um, yeah. Also, it does have a unique looking canopy. And this fan, I'm pretty sure it's from the year 1999. On the UL sticker, it said 9912. So, I'm guessing they put the year first and then the um, month it was made. But, um, yeah. Also, the switch cap is a lot more accurate to the Victorian switch cap compared to the Umcoda. I feel like this is the exact one as the Victorian would use. It actually has screen, like, a, a screen vents. Like, it has vents, but it has, like, a screen thingy, like, so it doesn't get no dirt inside. But, yeah, I, I don't know if the, um, owner, miss, like, I don't know if this fan was sitting on a blade for a while or something like that when he took it down. I don't know if that's what messed up the, um, switch housing, but, um, yeah, it is a little, it's not, I don't, I wouldn't say it's in a bad shit, you know, in, it's not in the shape to install, but um, it's better to install one that's in better shape. But that's all I can really say. Unless you don't mind, I just well, I wouldn't install because I just don't like seeing fans that have blades that are very badly bent. This one probably wouldn't wobble, but it will probably loosen up over time. So um, yeah. And already since I had to re tighten the blades on the the uh, monogram on the infinity, that's all I'm guy. Don't need fans like this um, installed to be honest. But, um, yeah, actually, before I start off on though, I will mention that the video is probably going to be about 15 to 20 minutes long. However, I will be showing the fans on reverse since I actually haven't been doing that in a while. So, I'm going to start off with, high, with low, medium, high, spin down, then show it on re reverse, low, medium, high, and then shut it off, and that'll be the end of the video. I figured it'll be a better way to do videos now. So, um, yeah, let's start off with low. Stranding out the switch housing, and I don't have tape on the um pull chain. I do apologize for that. I can't find it. Whack or electrical tape that I use to tape it up. I have no idea where it is, so I figured, you know what? I'm just gonna do it without tape for now. You can already see the weights are not in the best alignment. 
Only like two of them I was able, I was able to get back into alignment. So I'm just trying not to break weight arms. And that's just it. That's a nice low speed. Lose some air on low. Not much though. Alright, let's go ahead and move to to medium. Well, that's actually still bent. There we go. I'm not sure if like the thing that it holds on to broke something like that, but it wouldn't surprise me. There should be I feel like there's like something that uh bolt it tightens too, but I feel like the thing that it tightens too broke or something. I'm not, that's my guess. Maybe like the shaft. Something like that. Not sure what it's called, but I feel like that's broken. Poaching hitting against the motor, not the blade arms right now. Well, it's not, I'll just show you quickly. I just have it sitting there, but it went in the center instead. It's a shame that it's in this shape because it would be nice to install this fan. Even though it's not a natural Victorian, it would be a nice to install for like my grandmother's living room. So I can get that for Hama of hers. The other, the other issue is the blade arms are way too beat up and also the light would hang down too low for her living room. It would have to be the same type of light that the Coda has, not the light that this one has. Or it's feeling extremely low. Tell you, I don't even think it should be fans installed here because it's that low, but... Well... I'm gonna say that, but... If it was any lower than what it is, out, It shouldn't even be... It wouldn't even... It wouldn't even be safe to have fans. But yeah, it does move a decent amount of air on medium, actually. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Something that the fan did, um, I will say right now, is that she was powerful enough on high to move the infinity spin, so I will show that. So let me go ahead and show it on high. The fan does go pretty fast on high. It does move a very good amount of air for being a Hampton Bay fan. It's pretty, hey, it's actually pretty impressive for, just for a home improvement brand. Or a home center brand. But on me, yeah, this is actually not a bad fan. It's just it's a Hampton Bay, so it won't last as well, but the performance of this fan is pretty good. And, and there it goes, already moving the Infinity. None of the fans, unfortunately, have been able to make the Infinity move that much compared to only the uh, main stage fan I got from Mark Wilson. But none of them have been able to, but that one didn't even move it that much. It'll just move a tiny bit and then stop. This one's actually moving, you get a decent amount, actually. Not even the Delta 2 fans that I've tested have done that with any of the fans like, not with the um, Noble Power in this, so I'm pretty surprised. Tiny bit, so I forgot to shut it off. 
It's really close to that bend right there. Just a tiny bit. Let's do a spin down. I'll and I'll put it on reverse and show it on no medium pie. See, I wouldn't, if the, even though this is a Hamilton Bay, I actually would, if it was like a polished brass instead, I would be tempted to put it in the whipping room. But, since the switch on is the only thing's beat up, I wouldn't. But also, I have like a whole profile in there a lot. And actually, asked my mom recently, she would like a fan like this in the whipping room. And she said that she prefers not to, because she likes to do low profile and pass for two a lot. So, I can try to convince her if I ever do get a Victorian. I'm not saying if I will get one soon or not, but um, if I was to get one, I don't know if she'd be up for it. But also, I'd need an LCD for that too, so that'd be another issue. You can kind of see how that there is a the blazer bench. But it's spinning down a lot quicker than I thought it would, to be honest. I feel like it's gonna move a little bit when I put, when it went on high, just because how the blades are. Okay, low, high, medium, low. Because I was about to say low, medium, high. Just looking at the fans, making me think about a Victor an actual Victorian. So. I'm not going to show that one on reverse, so that's the only thing I'm going to be saying, because you've already seen like, how the fan runs, so I'm going to show it for a little bit on reverse. It has the same thing with the other fans I'm going to be protesting from now on. Okay, now for medium. This thing's gonna be a nightmare to test the weight, if I can even test it with the weight at all, because the chain's broken on that. Also, um, the butt pad fan that I buy, I had parts to um, hold away kids that actually don't. They have those two little quick things inside of the um, light sign just to hold them in place. So I'm just going to have to use the light bulb just to hold it, the um, shades for it in place. So the switch house, if the switch housing wasn't loose, I want to be, I would definitely be more comfortable doing it, but I gotta see how it does uh, if the weight get on it. So here's the thing, if you guys see a video of it, if the next video after this is a video of it with the light kit, I mean, it, was, it works, I'm able to test it with the light kit. If, but if you see a video of it with the rosa blades, that means I'll, that's too unsafe to, that it's unsafe to test it with the light kit. So, the next one you'll, you'll find out. So, yeah, I'm moving up to high. The other thing is that I would have to, would have to unscrew the light bulb just a tiny bit so they have to shut off. I'm not sure what the light. But yeah, it is a 
despite the condition the fan's in, it is moving a good amount of air even on reverse. Definitely I'm glad to have one of these, but these are major childhood fans. Especially mostly because it's from the 2001 catalog. Alright, let me shut it off. And that'll be the end of this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos to come.